Yo, 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 what up, y'all? Tight shirt, Terry Warfield, back for another video. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Hey, remember to be thankful for your life today because you did not have to have that on with the meat and potatoes. Today, we are not talking camera gear. We are actually talking about microphones because I just got a new mic, the Shure MV7. So this is what you're listening to right now. It is not being processed. It is actually running directly into my Sony FX3 via XLR. So this is what you get if you hook it up via XLR. This is how it sounds, right? Now, there's two major complaints I have with this freaking mic. Sounds amazing so far, but I don't like the fact that it's freaking micro USB. Unfortunately, I can't do nothing about that. The second thing I don't like is how this little stingy, flimsy, pretty much non-existent pop filter, pop phone, whatever you want to call it, how it does nothing to reject plosives, right? You probably heard that. So all of the s -s -s and all of the Yo, it just does nothing to get rid of those. So there is a fix for that. There's two ways you can fix it. Number one, you can buy one of those clip-on uh, mic arm pop filters, and those work just fine, right? Number two, you can replace this reject foam right here with something better. Now, if you are interested in this mic, you've probably read about this issue, and you probably have been on Amazon looking at all of those cheap foams that you can get. Let me just tell you that don't buy none of that cheap stuff. Get you the official Sure RK. 345 it's only 15 bucks i'll leave the link in the description for you to get one don't waste your time buying the cheap stuff you're just gonna end up buying another one so in this video we're gonna run a little test right i'm gonna actually take this piece of junk right here off and we're gonna use the following sentence okay please excuse my dear aunt sally because she has to take a proper dump so that's the microphone bear let's put this piece of junk foam that comes with the mv7 back on please excuse my dear aunt sally because she needs to take a proper dump obviously that's better than the capsule by itself obviously there's a barrier in the way but it doesn't do a whole lot did you see what i did there to reduce any plosive so let's take the one from the Shure SM7B. Now, the only thing is I know the one that comes on the Shure SM7B is like a dark black. This one is like a dark gray, but let's take this one off and test it out. Now, here they are real quick side by side. You can probably see what I'm talking about when it comes to color. This is the MV7. It's just really dark. This is kind of a dark gray, but this slips right over the capsule on the MV7. So here we go. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally because she needs to take a proper dump. Hey, I can already tell you that it sounds way better than the default one. Let's do one more test. Okay, so now we got just the capsule. Peter Pan robbed Peter to pay Paul. Let's put the phone on here. The default phone. Peter Pan robbed Peter to pay Paul. And then, sure, SM7B phone. Peter Pan robbed Peter to pay Paul. Okay, so... For 15 bucks, you can totally, totally fix the MV7s or one of the MV7s biggest flaws. And that's with this $15 Shure uh, RK345 replacement windscreen. It comes in this nice fancy box off of Amazon junk. But do yourself a favor if you are getting an MV7 and get you one of these pop filters from the Shure SM7B. I will leave a link in the description to the microphone as well as the pop filter. I hope this video was helpful. And uh, until next time, I'm out of here. Peace and chicken grease. Tyson Terry Warfield. I'm out. Have a great day, y'all.